and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing a makeup routine. Finally, I know, I know. <sighs> I've been getting asked so much to do my makeup routine and honestly, I've just been a lazy bee, you know? My makeup routine has been, oh my God, they have been power washing outside and it's been annoying the crap out of me. Anyways, this has like literally been my ride or die products that I've been using for so long. The universe is testing me. Okay, well obviously I'm just not meant to talk, so let's just jump right into this video and get straight to the routine. Let's get this party started. Obviously we need to start with skincare, eye cream, and moisturizer. We're going in with Ola Henriksen. This is like my ride or die. I always try to switch it up because you never want to stick to like the same skincare all the time, but I always find myself coming back to these. I also have really sensitive eyes. I've come to find out I have reactions to a lot of eye creams or they just make my eyes really watery throughout the day. This one did that just we just don't have those problems. So that's why I stick to this eye cream and I love it. I always load up on honestly a lot of moisturizer because I'm pretty dry. I have super dry skin. So don't be shy when it comes to moisturizer we're gonna go in with the milk hydro primer this is my holy grail i love this i don't always use primers because honestly i don't always like notice a difference when i use this one i honestly find that my makeup literally stays on all day long all night long <sighs> i didn't want to love this as much as i did because you guys know that this was like a TikTok viral product. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Got like a small size of this and I was like, whatever, I'll just try it. I fell in love with it and then it was sold out literally everywhere for so long. And I finally got my hands on a big size, so I'm so happy. I'm in the shade four. I pretty much just put this all over. I find personally that I really like to blend this in with my hands, which is typically like such a no-no for me, but I just feel like no product gets lost in anything and I feel like it just looks so good when you do it this way. And honestly, like when you put it on like this, yeah, it looks fine. It's nothing crazy, but it's just like the way that it looks under your makeup, even in pictures, that makes a difference. So. I blend that in, kind of let it chill for a little bit. I'm not going to lie to you guys, my foundation is running out. So it's literally so thin and just like worn out. But this is the It Cosmetics Illumination CC Cream. Oh, this is my everything. This is so good. I like this better than their original CC Cream without the illumination. It's not sparkly. It's not like glittery. It just, it's so good. I can't even describe it. Although you can't see the shade, this is like literally see-through. Um, this is fair light. I just do a pump on my brush. Just start putting that on top. And like the coverage is just amazing. It's so good. I don't know what it is, but these two products together. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever had so many compliments like out in person about my makeup i just do like small pumps you really don't even have to do a lot and oh my god it's just so good flawless it's dewy but not too dewy and it's not too like full coverage it's just oh it's so good okay so then i go in with my damp beauty blender and i just lightly like go over and pounce the foundation into my skin this is also just kind of ensuring that there's no brush strokes you know just light light pounces beautiful i'm gonna be using the tarte shape tape concealer this is in the shade light neutral i only do a tiny amount because i'm gonna go in with another concealer shortly and then i just touch up if i feel like i have any little blemishes or anything which we're looking okay right now. Just do a little bit there, a little bit, a little bit. Okay, just go in. I love this concealer too. I always have like 
one of these in my little makeup drawer and even if I switch it up I just always keep one in there just in case I feel like going back to it and then every time I go back to it I'm like wow why did I stop using this bronzer which is probably my favorite part of doing my makeup using the Fenty cream bronzer in the shade honey glaze we're also running out of this I need to restock my makeup a little bit. I'm gonna take the Fenty brush. It's like an angled brush. I love this brush. We're just gonna pop that onto our cheekbones and just start warming up the face. Press it into the skin. I feel like all the products that I've been using lately are really all of my ride or die products. Like even if you go back and watch some of my older makeup routines, most of these I've been using. I've been using for years. So we're gonna take a small brush, pop that in, and then contour our nose. This is probably the most important part of my makeup routine. I will not leave the house without brows and a nose contour. Then I always do under my nose. Then I always take it and kind of put it on the corners and bring it around a little bit under the lip. Honestly, I've been doing the top of the lip too. Doesn't need to be perfect at all. Again, go in, just kind of pounce a little bit pounce pounce and then we're gonna take the fenty cream blush in the shade petal pop in love this blush take it on our same bronzer brush just kind of you know press it in i try to avoid like streaking any cream products and i always just bring it kind of under the eyes bring it up just gives you that more like natural sun kiss look then you can put some on top of the nose always good to just start with a little bit of product and then you can add some there flower concealer i'm pretty sure this is drew barrymore's brand and i freaking love this this is in the shade vanilla we're just gonna take a tiny amount literally just like pop it pop lock and drop it i'm gonna focus that like in the corner and then also kind of Snatching our nose a little bit more up top and then super quickly we're gonna set that with the huda beauty translucent powder this is in the shade pound cake this is my favorite setting powder and i just kind of like set the nose and i just brush it over the lid really like pressing it into my under eyes for brows today we are using I always switch my brow pencils, but today we have the Sephora pencil in the shade Chocolate Brown. Obviously, I don't have a ton of brows going on here, so I always just kind of brush them up, fluff them up a little bit. See, there's not much going on. And then I always just kind of start and like draw a little, a little bit out, like where I think I'm gonna put them. And then I take this and just drag it underneath lightly everything is light you can always add more especially because this is a darker color too but i just feel better with darker brows okay so then we're just kind of lightly filling in over here nothing crazy bringing it up a little bit and we're gonna bring it down and over brush that out a little bit trust the process then we're just kind of gonna flick out a little bit so it's not like a straight line. So we're like going down, then out a little bit. Then we're gonna go up. Just like little hairs. Okay, so for the most part, that's probably what we're gonna stick with. We might go in and add like a little bit more, but for the most part, that's what we're I don't know if you guys have seen on TikTok, like everybody right right now, all the rage is giving yourself straight brows. Literally shaving like this part of their brow 
off and then instead of going down they're like drawing them like that and i was kind of tempted i'm like should i do it i'm like such a chicken shit when it comes to trying things with my face i think if you wanted like that really like raised snatched look then go for it me personally i don't really like when i look like that like i've gotten botox and had them give me like that really raised look because i thought that's what i wanted and oh my god i ended up hating it i was like this looks so stupid on me like i wish i could pull it off it just looked weird on me it was not perfect i'm sure i'm gonna go back and watch this video and be like oh my god that one's not good but whatever guys we're just trying to look like we have some damn brows got to be gel this is the best gel okay just buy it it's so cheap I just put a little bit on my hand take the end of my brow brush and just brush them up now for your eyes we're gonna take our bronzer the hula caramel benefit bronzer and just start popping that into our creases and then for me personally because i feel like my eyes are so round and i like more of like that snatched look like i like to look like this not like this so i always just take mine and just kind of bring it out a little bit jeez outside noises are noising today sometimes i just really build up my bronzer but i do also tend to use this a lot i've had this since before we moved to california this is called california love by ColourPop, and i've literally had it for so long and it's just the best so we're gonna take these like this color and this color and work that into the crease oh my god i cannot believe this outside noise right now I'm sorry guys okay we're back we had to take a 30 minute break because the power washers just decided that today was the day they were gonna power wash <laughs> okay anyways guys so let's finish this makeup routine we did our bronzer and now we're gonna go ahead and take our concealer again and a thinner brush and then i always just put this like that See how it just kind of like defines the eye a little bit more? I only take a small amount. Small. Okay. Now we're going to take a bit of a liquid liner. So today we're going to be going in with a brown liner. I switch between brown and black. Black Magic Liquid Liner in the shade Cocoa. Start at the end, I just kind of draw out a little bit. Bring it. In. I only go like to halfway. Voila. Okay, let's hope I can get them to match today. This honestly, this is getting pretty dry too. I've had this for so long though. This exact liner. So it's lasted. It's probably like the longest lasting liquid liner I've ever I've ever had. Obviously, this is harder too because it's getting dry. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna work with that. For now. A cosmetics lash blowout. My favorite mascara is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, but also dried out. I mean, they were old. Like, I haven't gotten new ones in so long. So, it's not that they dried out, it's that they're done. Like, it's time to get a new one. So I'll go in and do another coat, and this will be one of many because I definitely like a dramatic lash look. I'm just kind of gonna get rid of any powder we might have using the kylie cosmetics bronzer and tequila tan this bronzer is really nice for um when you're not like super duper tan too because it's not really like, a crazy dark bronzer it's just really natural and i love the color of it i always bring it down on my neck the lash clash ysl really focusing our energy towards the end you really want to like start close to the root and like wiggle it out and then just because i feel like i need it i'm gonna go in with a little bit of like a darker warmer color put that in the crease take the nude sticks uh blush what shade is this beach babe i love blush makes me feel great 
Mm-hmm. We're getting somewhere. Becca highlighter in Champagne Pop. Another OG that I feel like no highlighter can compete with. I did go into Sephora not too long ago. And I was just like, you know, there has to be like a really good highlighter out there. Like a new one. Which I'm sure there is. I'm like, I want a bomb ass highlighter. She was like, I got you. And so she ended up getting me, giving me this, which I actually bought. It's the House Labs, it's Lady Gaga's brand. And this is in Peach Quartz. Ah, it's just not as good as the Becca. Like, it's really good when you kind of put it like this. Let me show you guys. I mean, not even. Can you even see it? Not really. It's okay. It's okay. I feel like it looks really good. Yeah, if I put it on like with my finger, which normally I don't do. I'm kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not really sold on it. LA Girl Lip Liner Sugar and Spice. I got this from Target. It was literally less than $3. We're gonna take it and I always overline my lips. A lot of people ask if I got my lips redone and I'm like, nope. Just overline with a color that looks pretty natural. And I always go under. Move it in a little bit. Nearing the end of this routine. I usually like to put like a chapstick or something on, but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna go in with this. And just put a little bit of that on my lips. We're gonna finish off with this Milk Hydro Set slash Refresh Spray. Love this stuff. Take the headband off. That is it, you guys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I feel like I've just wasted so much time talking, but honestly, most days this does not take me long at all. I would love to put more bronzer on my face, but then we're not gonna we're not gonna match the rest of my body, so we're not gonna do that. I mean, like literally flawless. These two together are magic. I don't know why, but they just they were made for each other, and yeah. So this is what I've been doing every day. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I just like really feel like I've found the products that are like my hardcore OG products and these are them. Like I love all of these, they're amazing. I would normally put a lip chapstick on. I'm sure this is gonna annoy me when I watch this in the video, but I just don't have one right here and I don't feel like going and finding one. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video, even with the annoying power washing that's going on outside. Like. So annoying but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time